okay now i guess you are able to get my screen so yes let me open my last terminal or oh, last code base uh, so which is in the desktop and which is in, inside the winter batch folder and which is the name is to do i guess so in the last class you have seen uh, about the express and about some routing thing you have explained in the last class so today we are going to or also you in the last class you have done mongo db setup and this is the file and code is already shared with you i guess so now i am going to use the same things but this time i am going to put some data from my server to the mongodb database okay so for that i am going to use i am going to run this file node app.js and also because everything is right like uh, let me wait db is connected the db is connected because i pass the right credential okay this credential is getting from my one of the student ayush they providing with the mongodb setup and i am going to use this in this setup to the entire box now you see in the the mongodb is like uh, this is the connection link where you can connect this mongodb uh, through this link to this application and this is some route thing i already explained the gate post gate patch delete route in my last class so today i am going to use all of this route one by one and make an api which is called the rest api and uh, we will understand what is the what is what is the meaning of that in the post route generally i am going to use to save the data okay gate route is generally used for retrieve the data patch route is generally used for update the data and delete route is generally used for delete the data so i am going to use one by one so first because there is no data at all in my database so i am using a one more software that is called the mongo compass mongo compass you can down you can download the mongo compass very easily by just going to with the google chrome google chrome and you write this wait mongo compass this is the way that you have to download the mongo compass mongo compass is a like a free software where you can see the data in uh, through uh, in the data in the database so this is free you have to download i already download the mongo compass mongo compass provided in the all services like for um, uh, macbook or for the windows everyone every for operating system they have the software so generally what what the mongo compass do you have to put the link here which is this link okay and this link will be connect this link, through this link you can connect the mongodb address and you can see the entire data here okay this this doesn't mean that this data is a store locally in your laptop but this data store in their cloud only you can see the data maybe also you can modify the data so just pass the link and pass the connect button and uh, this will so the data right now there is no database only the local and there is admin database as added here so i will create a new database so i will pass the database name just after the slash so i am going to pass to do okay to do data to do db okay so this is the database name to do db so now i am going to save it run it db is connected so after the when you put some data the to do db is already will be display it here so now let me put the data so we are using mongoos as a library to handle the database the so mongoos has some lots of feature to inbuilt the data so that's why before passing the data i will create a model what is model i will explain in this class so first i will create a very uh, folder called model and i will create a 
model name is task dot js i will create a file uh, name is task for js and this is the model so for creating a model we import mongoose here same as the app.js file mongoose mongoose is in setup now we have to create a variable and variable is task schema okay and it is be it is store like this task schema created now i will be create just one second okay okay uh, okay task schema and uh, okay task schema and in this task schema you will write the 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 structure of the data so and suppose in the to do in the to do you are going to add the data like this the to do contain the title of to do and some description of the to do when to do created when to do updated so this or type of thing you are going to add in the for the everyone to do. in this type of field we need to be add task uh, created updated and so and uh, apart from this um, just once again maybe title description created updated or any name you want to be add here mm. yes this is enough information for creating a to-do so now same as we need to add here so first to do is your uh, in, in the structure title and after that you have to pass the type so i am going to pass this and pass type which type of this data so this is a string type now same as title this is the type of again string now i am going to add number uh, no number created at so i am going to pass this type casting should be date but i am going to use number in the case of weather application you see data stored somewhere in a number format and it is a very good part of things second is updated at so i am creating this schema like this now now because you have created this schema and you are going to use this schema in this file so you have to export this variable so i am going to use module same as export and this time i am not going to export directly this we need to export mongoose dot model first you have to pass the model data basically task and you have to pass the task schema okay so this is the way that you have to add the task schema model and create a schema model so it is nothing it is just like a structure of the data title description created everything this is the sub field we are going to be adding 
so guys any questions you are facing uh, any question you are uh, means you are little bit confused in any point please let me know i will try to help you otherwise i will move to next thing everything is clear in this point now so now already export this so now i'm going to task route because i'm going to use this route very first so let's add it it doesn't mind you can add you can route you can add the route anywhere but i'm going to write now next so we need to be this variable so you have to be import task make sure this is the upper piece and it is getting from require dot not model and name is task now constant and create a variable task okay task and i am going to create new task because we are going to create a new data this is the task and inside the task again you have to pass the data in a object format now the data is title title is there and we have to pass the title is first task description make sure spelling should be same whatever the spelling you have right here you have to write in this case otherwise it will be maybe it will be written an error second learning web development web dev whatever you write now created it okay now this is a date now and i'm going to add value of value of will be convert the date in an integer format now update it at same date dot now dot value okay now you have added the schema or the data so this is the schema you have to create it now second you are going to save this data so task this task dot this is a mongoose task uh, mongoose thing so you have a variable function name added already here save after saving this data they will return the return in a promise so promise is handled with the then or catch and inside the promise they are return the data in this format okay now res dot send if something is good you have to get the data in the json the data has has been added if something went wrong so you have to write raise dot send data not be added suppose like this so this is a way that you have to add this complete this one okay now i am going to test this route so for testing this route i am going to terminate this code and run it again and go to the postman because you know gate route is able to gate route setting is able to possible in a chrome but it is not possible to for the post route so i am using the post route
Just wait for some time. It will take time to take load for few minutes. And I'm waiting. So now this task route. And now we are going to test the post route. So everything is set up. Why this error is coming? And go to the body section. Body, no. Sorry. So response will be displayed here. Whatever the thing. So now I'm going to send. When you send this, data has been added. And now when you come to this, uh, there should be refresh button. There is no refresh button is here. Okay, there is no refresh button, so I am going to disconnect and connect with again. Uh, no, no, sorry. Okay, now connect and you see there is one 2DDB is added here and you go to 2DDB the task folder is there and you see your task is displayed if you don't believe you can see the same data in their eyes dashboard if you see the eyes database in their chrome you see the same data is appearing now let me check and add one more data so now i'm going to second task a learning model everything is same now terminate it run it again and see let me test it once again data has been added and now going to mongo compass this time i am going to refresh the data and you see the two data is appearing clear guys updated ad is not here why let me check this updated ad and there is up okay there is file mistake that's why it is not added now I'm save it and now i'm going to update third task Okay, I have fixed the spelling. So this time you see, this time you see updated ID will also be added. So they terminate it, run it again, and send it. Data has been added. Go to database. Let's refresh it. And three data is in. This time updated ID is also in. And you can see this this data is different every time. So clear everyone? Hello? Till this point everything is clear? Cool. So now the, you can see here. Yeah. Now you can see here. Saving route is full. Clear. But now you see every time. The, you are sending the data in the home say as a file or like text so instead of doing this it is better to use json data and json data is converted data in a object format so same thing you have to add it like this success true and message data has been added everything is same success false and either this error okay clear now terminate it run it again and this time i am using the fourth save it 
terminate it, run it again, and we see again. See. This time the data is looks better as output is success true and data has been added. If I'm adding some okay, so this is good. Now adding one more thing. Sometimes some fields should be unique. So you have to add a field required. True. Okay. Now go to this here task dot and I'm removing this data. Now terminate it and now send it. They are sending a false, success false and this is error. Error say that titles is the required. Title is required. This type of error is can be identify what's the problem in our code. Okay? You can see the task validation file title required. This type of error is coming. So you can handle that. So that's why this is the way you have to be alter the data. Now second, because created at a updated are fixed, okay, these two fields are fixed every time. So why I am adding it here, just removing this and I will add automatically here as a default value. Okay, now I will remove from here, but let me add a sixth or five fold, five task or fifth task. Add it here. Now terminate it. You see, created it, updated it, is removed from here, but it will work. So go to the this portion and say it task has been added and go to stick now the only the third is there now refresh it four and fifth is we added in the fourth and fifth both has this field and it is working clear you understand this required field and this default field yes sir yes sir okay now so gate or post all is ready I will come again, again in the post route, but let's jump to the gate route. Gate route is generally used for the retrieving the data. So in this case, there is no there is no need to be new. New. You directly call the data by task. Task should be created here. And you have to write a method called find. Find it an argument like filtered or you pass something here as a filter, you will get something. But right now there is no filter. I want I need every document. So no need to be add anything, only this. And you have to use execute. This is optional actually. And then you have to use then catch again. Then will be send the data and catch will be handle the error. Okay. So the, in the case of the end, they will result results. Here I'm going to write race dot JSON success true. That's why my API looks better, and I'm going to pass data as results. If something went wrong, so we will catch this. And return as a false, and we'll get an error, and we'll get error like this. Okay, now everything is completed. Run it. Only thing, only find and execute will be added here. Now go to the database, and no, not the database. Go to the 
Now I'm going to change this gate. Everything is same. Link are same, only changing the gate. Now send it. And you see, you get the data in this format. Like data and return as an array, and array contain the entire output. Okay, if you modify the data, already explain the map function and it will work for the uh, as an array. So you will write the const response. Just like created data, just like result dot map function, and you pass the result as a single function, and you return like this the title is the result dot title description. The result dot description and created at result dot suppose you want don't want to send the update date or other thing or ID okay now run it so when you create a data you see every data has unique id okay and if you retrieve the data they will return this id okay but this time i remove this entire only sending data and instead of sending the result i am sending the data okay now terminate it and run it so save this time you will get the data less title and because Maybe styling is different, that's why it is returning the this. Okay, that's why you're spelling wrong, na? De decryption. It should be decryption, not description. But I I fix the spelling it here later. Decryption, but this time description. So. And this you will get the data like this. You should also pass the ID. ID is important. So you can I pass the ID like this. ID. And this is the result dot underscore ID. Because the data is stored in the new underscore ID. Don't need to send the person name or other field. Now send it everything is clear till this point guys yes or no yes, sir. now next second route is this single document this route will return all the document but this time we need a single document so you see pass the id so first we capture this id from the link so we are creating a variable id and it is getting from request field name prompt and the variable name is id so it will getting from like this now i am going to copy this okay and paste it okay but i will be fix something fix what id so instead of find i will find one okay and you can also find by id okay but i will go with the find one this need again a filter which data you are going to retrieve so i am filter i am retrieving whose id is this id whose id is this id now just remove this entire thing so you will find the find one so they will reject only one data so you will get like a reject okay like this find one and pass the filter which data we are going to be retrieved so which data whose id is this id which is passing 
so not terminate it run it again so you will get and you need an id just copy this id and paste it here so i copy this id and paste it everything is same so i'll send it and you see success true and this is the data again they are providing all the data i don't want the all the data so you can map or don't need to be mapped because there is no arrays here so you need data is like this and copy this stuff okay and instead of finding the result we are passing the data clear and uh, everything is sorted now terminate it I run it and you see data is returning like that okay now till this point everything is clear this is the filter guys clear now next patch rot okay patch rot is like the same as uh, means post or something like that it is this time you have to update the data so updation means suppose there is multiple things here multiple task is here so i want to update this so how we update first you find the data so we are going to find the data by id so that's why patch function need id also which data you are going to update and we are getting the id from like this okay should be an st now guys next const and we are going to be add oh sorry not task and we are going to be add update you can now pass update many or update one this time you are only updating one document because the id is different so you are going to pass update one so you have to find you have to add something here you have to add something here so you have to add two parameter first parameter is what you are going to be update first parameter is which data we are going to update so I am updating this data whose id is no, sorry who underscore id is this second argument is what data which which, which field we are going to update so I am going to update set set title updated task you are going to add update updated task one you are going to update the title name so you are going to update this okay and suppose you want to be add one more field update by uh, update updated add you want to also be updated this so here you see that lots of thing is going to be capture so instead of writing this set variable here i'm just copy this part and i'm going to create one more variable data and paste it so it will be looking so well to be understand what is happening so i want to update two field and also updated updated add and updated is getting from date now value of so listen guys here you see the two field is updated and you are passing this set is equal to you are updating this data okay now everything is same then catch so i don't need to be use this data as a response output I 
I'm just copy the custom. data has been updated okay so now it's clear so now so see here in this time first data this is the first task is at is a title right now this is the title right now so i'm going to copy this id because we are going to update this and paste it i guess this is similar already similar and now this time i'm going to patch so now send data has been updated now go to this database and refresh the data see updated is uh, sorry, updated at task one, but not again the spell mistake. So see, this time updated as is ready, but updated data is field is not here. So I am sending it again. Again, is same data has been updated, and you see the data. Refresh the data. Updated that is a field also added here. And this is the way that you have updated the data. So, guys, I guess you understand what is happening. Clear? Hello? Guys, till this point, everything is clear? Yes. Now, next, delete the route. So, deletion is simple. Same, it needs an ID also. constant id everything is similar that's why backend development sometimes looks so easy because more of the time is same okay just go to this anyway task and pass delete one because you are going to delete only one id pass id is equal to id and no then catch Copy this stuff, paste it here, paste it here, only you are going to update this error, error, and also the bullet value. And here the message data has been deleted. Clear? No error. Okay, now C. Here, okay. Here, this is the data. Five are there. Even you want to check this. Go to the get and remove the entire name, and they will send the data like this. Perfect. So there is a fifth data I want to be delete. Just just copy this. Pass in this link and instead of passing this and you also see confirmation fifth data is fifth data and now I am going to change the data to delete route and you say and it data has been deleted if you go to the refresh part this has been deleted so simple all the current operation you have done in this classroom I guess there is no confusion at all till this point. Guys? Yeah. Okay. But now the problem is every time I am filling this data in my code and you are creating this API for the public user for the application. 
it is not good idea to add the data like this because in the real world what is happening in the real world you will create an application you will create an application where user will fill the data in somewhere in a form and you will store the data in a database so this data field not like that you have to get the data from the user so right now the front end is not ready so how will get this data so you need to be used instead of writing this you are going to use request dot body dot title same as you have to pass request dot body dot description but this is not working because we need to add one more library it's called the body parser so body parser is helping you to get the data from the user side just one second let me connect my laptop with a charger so body parser body parser is a library let me open this npm and this is the command so let me copy this and paste it here with a save and this is mandatory this is not mandatory to use save but i am going to use the save the body parser is added now i am going to be see how the body parser can be work so for the app.js file we need to be add this body parser and i am going to copy and paste it here body parser because i am using const everywhere so i am using the const again and you have to use add this two field okay because this type of field we are going to use everywhere and this type of field sometime when you would when you want to be add uh, like what uh, some image and all so it is like that and just before the route i am adding this code just nothing else you are imported in json format in json format will be supported like this so now save it everything is clear so now you see in the task route what i'm going to add after the installing the body parser we add the body parser like this same as other libraries and we add this two field first line is telling me helping me to uh, uh, you uh, pass uh, converting the url imported data to through this body parser code and if you want to parse the json code this is the way so i'm adding this to now now go to the task route you see i am changing this title and description so i am using title and description so i am using the same things in here so right now if you sending right now if you sending again the task route with a post it will not work because you you will not pass in the title and all you have passing the variable so you have to go to the body and you have to go to this raw data and change to text to json make sure this is json and you have to pass the json data the json data is looks like this title and it is like sixth task and you have to pass description make sure the spelling should be same description six uploading updating uh, adding data using body so this now i am sending this data 
data has been added as a message coming now refresh it six data is added here this is the way that you have to add by the same thing i am going to add need to be add this data so here you are going to update this is the way that you have to update the data also if you already know the field is same so instead of writing this directly you can write request dot body updating the entire input you are passing okay this is a way either you use this or that both are the same now save it okay but also so go to the patch route and you need the id so just copy any one id the fourth id are going to update it and updating the their description only so go to the postman suppose is the fourth so i am going to here title so i am going to remove this description only adding this fourth data a uh, fourth updated okay i am adding this only updating this and send data has been updated now see this is the fourth data fourth task now refreshing it and you see fourth updated task is there so you see suppose i want to be updated right now the learning wave day i am changing the description so this time i am updating the description learning machine learning suppose i am adding it here now send it go to refresh it okay yeah uh, just one second maybe a spelling is different that's why oh sorry i didn't update this let me run it again send it again testing it okay oh the field is description no? so it should be de decryption this is a one mistake spelling mistake i face so i need to be pass as a decryption okay now send it refresh it learning and this there so this is the way that you have to add all the row one by one guys there is any confusion to understanding any point Please let me know. Yes. Hello. All clear now. So guys, means the tasks for the to-do application API is ready. For the to-do application, all the API is ready, and we are using this API in our front side. Okay. So. we will create a front end on the same folder to do a folder on the same directory okay so now back end is ready so i will be terminate it now i am going to be create my react application so now i am creating the react application so you go to react create react app sorry and this is the command we need a command for creating a Re react application so this is the command 
so now i'm running the same command here so i'm paste it and what's the client what's the app name this time i'm using client all the back all the base all the root directory are going for the backend development and this client folder will be and uh, contain all the front-end development so now i'm using this command npx create app client and press enter it will create a react application on the same folder with the folder name is client and the to do app folder and you have to wait for some time and guys after this class we will meet to by by the we will meet monday na So guys, please prepare the backend development and we will use this API in our frontend application in the client application. Okay. So I will try to set up everything uh, for my Monday class. I don't know why taking too much time. I guess it, will, it has been done. Let me check the internet connection. I don't know. I have a 5G connection, but still it is not. Now this client is ready. Everything is ready. If you, if you see the, if you want to run the client folder, and you also understand how we create a uh, working project. So this is the directory root directory should be go for the entire backend, and you have to create a client folder. Client folder containing the React application. So cd client. Oh sorry, wait, cd client, and you have to pass what? npm start. Also, we have to add one more terminal because in this terminal, your front end is running, and in this terminal, your back end will be running. In the next class, we will be running both the front end and back end simultaneously, and we will working together with the working with the both environment. Front end environment is the front end already, back end environment is the back end. Okay. So I I was uh, thinking that uh, I will complete this entire application today, but I think you have to prepare first for the backend development. Then will we start the uh, frontend development? And uh, let me see what is happening. And React is ready, and this is the React. So see, this is the backend is running, frontend is running, and we will use one uh, both the API one by one, and this. Okay. So, any confusion, guys? There is any confusion at all? No, no. You understand the directory part? Okay, how we create the client folder here? So, right now, I will I will sharing the both code, client and uh, backend code all. So, you will understand how the directories work. So, let me push the code. So, I am going to add entire code in the git and make a commit. backend api is ready to use this is a message i'm going to add and i'm going to push the entire code we have to wait for some few seconds and it is updating if you go to the my repository section i'm adding and this is your to do app folder and to do app folder contain entire code So this is the thing. Sorry, wait, where are moving from? If you finding if you finding difficulty to find this repo, just click in in go to Google and write Amide INC. Amide I Amide INC just pa passing it and press enter. Okay, first link is my link. Just go to copy, open this link. You put my name, you see my name here, and just go to the repository section. This is the winter batch code, and you will get the code. You can download the code by the CLI, or maybe you can download the code at the GIF. Okay, 
so any confusion at all i hope there is no confusion and we will meet again on the next class and we will starting the front end part and we will understand everything so i hope you enjoy this lesson